What's up? Good morning, good night, good afternoon. I do not know when you're watching this video. I'm a Hani Ruiz Peruvian mining engineer that I come promoting and teaching how to use the Arkman mining license software free, which serves for modeling, geological and mine design, topography, air control and many things in this software. It has been developed by the Dr. Cesar Castanin Fernandez de Asturias of Spain and he puts it at your disposal so that use the mining engineers, geologists, mine surveyors freely on an international level yes then I'll show you in this video how to download it and how to install it too that you will enter the Rickman com page okay that's where it is find the installer once you load the image you go to go to this menu that says downloads free or free were downloads and you're going to enter exactly where it says download Rickman okay fine then there you already have the page to download Rickman and now on this date that by example that I am recording this video which is December 16 2018 we have the new installation version that makes that the process is much more simple compared to what was anciently complex nowadays the installation is much simpler much easier than before downloading it I recommend you believe a folder on any of the disks where are you going to put the installers for example here i will create a folder named workman installers okay in this case i'm going to create it in desktop you can create it in any place since you're going to click here where it says download okay and let's go to find this folder that is in desk that says workman installers and we're going to save it okay okay i'm going to show you how to download other things more so that once you have them downloaded right then number one you are going to download the file main installation of the Rickman program as you realize it only weighs 12.7 megabytes it is not a very file extensive very large as other software that sometimes occupy four disks of installation no Rickman only if you account the installation file only weighs 13 megabytes less than 13 megabytes okay another ask what can you be doing is what are the requirements for can I install Rickman from a computer well Rickman only started can install on a computer with Windows operating system whether XP Vista server Windows 10 but you cannot install on a Linux or a system Mac so forget there do not you will be able to install only in computers with operating system Windows. If your computer is Mac or Linux, you can partition your operating system, make a shared operating system so you can take advantage of Workmin. Then I repeat, Workmin, it only works in the operating system Windows. Okay? Very good. I have just downloaded the installer of Workmin Free. Then I told you that you're going to download two more programs that are necessary. You go right here to Freeware Downloads. Okay? And you're going to go to the option that says download 3D viewer that is a complement to be able to see the objects in 3D and that I recommend downloading it. So you're going to click there and you will find two files, some that are for systems of 32 bits and others that are for 64 bits. By the way, I forgot, if you ask me in which bit system Rickman works, the one that ends the one that we are going to install. Rickman is a software that works in 32 bits, but if your computer is 64 bits, there is no problem. You can install in a normal way. Okay, very well. Then, in this case, the computer where I'm going to install the Rickman is a 64-bit computer. Then I'm going to download this add-on, which is a 3D viewer. It is not necessary that install it, but I recommend you to that you can get the most out of it. Rickman, it means that if you go install Rickman and you have not downloaded at this there is no problem you can continue to operate Rickman okay but as I want to teach you how to install everything that is free for you to get the most out of it I recommend you download this right then let's download it right there in the Rickman installation folder that you created the beginning and for that this complement of Rickman you need the Dirx 10 if your computer has Dirx 11 or other Dirx does not matter but you you necessarily have to download the Dirx to be able to use this small program that is additional to Rickman and what do I recommend okay then to download it you are going to click here where it says link and I'm pointing with the mouse right now okay and it's going to take you straight to the Windows page where you can download here it is it's in English you will download it right there also these pages are going to come out you simply deactivate these options that you see here none that is active what you are going to install are the Dirx 10 here is telling you that it weighs 95.6 megabytes and you simply tell him here no thanks okay and it's going to take you to the installation folder that is going to be right there in Rickman installers okay then realize what 
to the date of recording this video I have downloaded three files, the file of Macmin installation the program that is to visualize the objects in 3D and the DIRC so that it can work. The 3D view program, ok? Very well, then once that everything is downloaded, let's go to the installer folder. Macmin, ok, there it is and here we have the main installer. Then you create a new folder here. In, alright. And you put him, main installer you can call it. Another thing, you do not need to put it, that in this file the file that is. You are going to put it there. Ok, where it says installer, main, let's open in this file. We're going to decompress it here or we're going to extract here, ok? And you give account that he extracted a folder. Although it was not necessary to create a subfolder because all this is already in a folder, then I will return it here back, ok, and I'm going to stick it here. There it is, as it already has a folder then this folder that I created makes a moment, he simply deleted it because I need it, ok? Then here I enter to this folder where it says installer Macmin and you will find three files OK, and in order to install the Macmin you're going to click on the icon which says suit up or in the drawing of the computer, which is the type file application, then there you are going to do double click, this message will come out you're just going to say yes to tell Windows to let you do the installation and then you're going to load a blue window with an assistant that shows you there in screen, you're just going to tell him click on accept, correct. And here you give account that the default program will create a folder of name, Macmin Free, on disk size where he goes to install the program, it is recommended not to change this, leave it there where it is defect, so that the program can work properly, because some people change directory, you have this option but it is advisable that leave it there on disk C, then you go to click on this drawing button, the computer, where I'm pointing with the mouse, you are going to click here, this window that you have is going to come out here, you do nothing here, you only do click where it says continue and you hope that the program is beginning to do the Installation, as you realize, the installation is a very simple process in Macmin, before it was complex, now it's much faster, ok, and you do it super simple, ok, you get a message, if in some moment you get a message, some libraries are not compatible and gives you the option to say yes or no, you're going to say yes, if I accept, if I accept until you get this message that says that the Rickman installation has completed correctly, ok, you click on accept and you're done, install the Rickman, you forget about the other files and you go back to the Macmin installer folder, ok, very good, then we will install the dirks, well this is not, it is necessary to do it right now, I'll leave it for, after this part that I will teach you in the video, then, until now we have, Macmin free installed, the software that we are going to use, the mining software that I am promoting, these two we are going to install then as I told you, it's a compliment to be able to look at the objects in 3D, we see this more, go ahead and now we are going to go directly to disk C, ok, and here is the Macmin free folder where the Macmin program has been installed and here, you are going to find some files in this way, how are you looking at it now, same, ok, and you're going to do double, Click on this icon that says RNYAC, X. In agreement. Before that, if you look here in desktop, still has no icon. Start of Rickman, why? Because first we have to come to the disk, see where are these files and we're going to double click here where. Says RNYAC, if you notice here, there are five executable files, all five files are five different programs but that all together make up the Rickman mining software. Then to start with. First time, this is the first time you install it, double click where says RNYAC, ok, and it's going to come out a message that tells you that you have created a new folder in documents, name, Rickman files, here you have no other option, just tell him to accept, ok, and do, click on accept the program is going, to ask for four alphanumeric codes that, they can be letters, numbers and symbols, but they have to be only four, for example, I usually use initials of my name, Ihani Paul Ruiz Dios. You can put any code, the date and your birthday, that code is, as the signature of the install program. On your computer, it means that if you installed on another computer is going to have another code, 
practice, what's the use you do projects from your computer come out with that signature or if you work in red can identify the other users that are connected to the same base of data by these codes, that's why it's called user code, okay? Put those four alphanumeric digits you click accept and you're ready. This message, you simply click on accept and ready the workman program is installed and started. Here you get this message, you also say click on accept and go. Here we minimize this window and you give account that you already have here the icon of the start workman to this icon only. You change your name, you will put it workman just as I am writing. At the moment I do not know why it is coming out so, I should leave you. This icon that you see here, up, pointing at the mouse, okay? It's a new version that the doctor, Caesar Castanin Fernandez is hung. Suddenly there is error, because I do not. The RMYAC symbol comes out here. Do not worry about that but there you go. The Rickman home icon, okay? It is possible that if I show you, and you get the icon that I'm showing, here, okay, fine, then now. The Rickman program is already installed. And question 2, well before continuing. With question 2, do you remember that the program at the time of starting it created a folder in documents? Let's look what is there in documents. Why are we leaving to documents and we will find a folder named Rickman files? Okay, and here the Rickman program has created all the auxiliary files that it uses to be able to work. There are access files, some files with some bookstores, some folders. You do not worry about that, that the program it generates the first time you start it to be able to work correctly. If in some time you have problems, complications with Rickman Free, suddenly you delete this project example. The program hangs or things that could happen. You go to Documents. Okay, and this folder you erase her. You say Eliminate. Okay, and you go. Back to disk C, you enter the Rickman Free folder and you start it. Again the Rickman software. Obviously again he will ask you for the codes, the four codes or digits, alphanumeric and write them again, okay? Very well, then now the next question would be, how do I update Rickman? I know it's free software, but Rickman is updated. Always is being updated, of course, yes, the doctor, Cesar Keston in Fernandez, it is constantly updating it, is constantly improving it, that's function of the suggestions that make us, get the users, some errors that are detected things like that or improvements, then the doctor, Cesar Keston in Fernandez, he is always receiving suggestions and it's getting better and it's going, updating, how do I know if, is there any updates? Easy. You just go here to this. Question mark. Look remember that, this is the window of the module. Deposits, cannot be maximized. Remember I told you the Rickman program. It is composed of five sub-programs. Well, that's the program where the projects are created, the module of deposits. Then you have the others modules that are here where I am pointing. Then for, to be able to update the Rickman program, you go to this question mark and here you will find several options, including here. You can change the language. It's in Spanish language. You can change it to English language for that you restart them. The beginnings again and there you have it totally in English. We are going to return it to the Spanish language, okay? To be able to update it, to be able to update it, you're going to say question mark option and here you have the option that says look updates, the next window and for example, here you, the following table appears, where you have three columns, the first column, this part that is here where I'm pointing with the mouse shows you the versions that you have installed in that moment of each program, remember I told you that Rickman it is built by five sub-programs, here it shows you the four main ones, okay, for example, here is the RMYAC 6.01, which is the latest version. For example, in the second column you, shows the released versions, the versions that are already corrected in that you can download, in any case they would be Rickman program updates, and in the third column he will show you. The beta versions, beta version means test version that has not yet is revised but that the doctor, Caesar Keston in Fernandez puts them there so that you can download them, use them and detect new errors or test them and enjoy the latest features that you have added. Cannot it be two things can sometimes have errors, then you as a user you inform us that there is some error to correct it, they may not have any error that you're going to take advantage. The last options that the doctor Cesar Castanio Fernandez added, because normally released versions come out at year, a year and a half, while betas versions are available every month, every 15 days depending on the availability of Dr. Cesar Castanio Fernandez, then to update is very easy, for example here I have to update with these two updated versions. 
versions or released, click where it says download RNDRAW, remember that the previous was .574, now we unload a modern one, here for example where it says we had the 5.03 and now we have a new one that is 5.04 then we also do the same finished and then to update we automatically click only in this button that says update. Automatic downloads, we click. There, OK, and the show shows me a message that has already been updated. I simply say click on accept. The other message that comes out I also do click on accept. What is telling you here is that you have saved a copy. Old, just in case the new one has some mistake and you want to continue with work that you're doing in that moment, then how the new one has some mistake you go and you will recover the old one so as not to lose the continuity of your work that you're doing, okay? Then we accept, close and go to look at that folder where you have done, has done the update, okay? Then that is on disk C. Okay, let's go to the Rickman free folder. Note here that the program has Save the latest latest version. Here is then if in any case the new one has errors, then you you delete the last one and leave the previous one in agreement. Then I repeat, the old one would be this. He's here, here he is, that's why he's keeping the last date on which the updated and changed. If you give account for example, the RNDRAWA is 13.7, there is a date in the message that I get me and the new one that is supposed to have added more things, way 13.8, MB, then if in some case time the new has some error, it does not allow you move forward, you simply come and clear is for example that I'm pointing right now, you tell him to eliminate and you're going to is here and you simply click. In changing the name of you delete this says 2018 12 16 to be able to follow working I do not know if he let me understand okay the same with the other versions of the other sub programs okay very good then in this way you have updated Rickman and you're ready to be used because right now I do not the icon appears it should appear the Rickman icon there I'm going to solve but the moment record this video I do not have it okay then also I told you that Rickman free had a compliment to look at the objects in 3D. Normally the program already comes with a 3D viewer that you have here, that I'm pointing right now. It's developed in Dirk's 8, but the doctor, Cesar Keston and Fernandez, a few years ago he brought out a new version that works in Dirk's 10. Then it is the one that we are going to install and is here, and as you see, appears inactive right now because it is not installed. Then to install it, let's close here. We're going to the installer folder and remember that we download the Dirk's 10. Then you before running this, File, you go to disk C, OK, and you're going to create a folder with the name of DirectX 10, I, in this case, I already have installed, then what you do is create that folder with that name, it does not necessarily have to be the same name, you can give it another name, but a folder to be able to install the DirectX 10, OK, fine, then you go to the Rickman installers and you go to double click on this in this file, OK, and the program is going to show a window where it asks you accept the contract and you go to say that if you accept the contract and then this message that comes out here asks you find the folder where you are going to extract the installation files then you you click on this button and you're going to search that folder named dirks 10 that you have created on disk c for that you go here to disk c here for example is disk c and here is the folder direct x10 i in this i'm not going to do anything there anymore because i already have it decompressed i have it installed then you enter that folder selected for example and you click ok i in this case i'm going to cancel because i already have it installed once unzip all the files you're going to disk c and you enter that folder of dirx10 and you will find like 124 compressed files and within those files you will find a file of name dxsctup okay then you double click on it and do you next 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 and you will have installed dirx10 which is very simple okay unless you have a XP computer that I do not think works with Dirx 10, maybe not what you can install, but computers modern, in all you can install the Dirx 10, it does not matter if you already have Dirx 11, if you have the Dirx 12, possibly when you are looking at this video, it does not matter, you can install parallel the Dirx 10, okay? Then, once the Dirx 10 is installed, go back to the folder with the files of installation that you have here in desktop and you're going to unzip this file that says 3D viewer by 64 okay 
The one who has a 32-bit computer because I guess that it must have downloaded 32 bits. You go to the recommend page. Okay, here it is. You have the 32 bits of me. 64 bit. I in my case download the 64 bit. Then if you want to create a folder here to put this 3D viewer installer. If you do not decompress it right there, file I'm going to put there. I click right and I say extract here. And the program also decompress me too files the tablet already deleted and i'm left with these two files then to do the installation is also very simple you double click where it says recommend 3d viewer and set up in any of the two double click then next 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 and it would be installed i will install it now same yes here we click on next okay you realize that the program by default you will create a folder of name recommend on disk c and with a Rickman subfolder 3D viewer, leave it there, there's no problem, you just make it click on next, next and here you go. To ask permission in Windows to do the installation, you say yes and ready, is installed, ok, we close this window and here is the 3D viewer icon. Ok, now I think the icon, the Rickman viewer, well here it is that it is a program, a file or forgiveness a program that works independently of Rickman, but if you realize that in Rickman we had the option that appear here. Then you have it there, already automatically. It has both to work, okay? There it is. Then you have the viewer and you have the render that comes by default with the program, the viewer, this modern one that we just install. Obviously it's a lot better, more powerful, more everything, okay? Well nothing. Suddenly you do not appear at the moment that you have installed, suddenly you do not. The active option appears here that you have to do a little trip that I'm going to teach you right now. You're going to disk C, okay? You're going to enter disk C and you will find that folder which says Rickman and inside that folder Rickman you will find the subfolder Rickman 64 3D viewer and the only thing you're going to to do is that to this icon or 3D viewer file of the application type or have X point extension, have we going to do it again, suddenly to you, it appears like that, right? You start Rickman and here he appears inactive, okay, then, what are you going to do as I told you, you are going to enter disk C, to the folder, Rickman, Rickman, look there are two folders, different, there is Rickman free and Rickman, you are going to enter Rickman and you are going to enter the subfolder and here, you will find that the file, it's executable, you're just going to click, right and you're going to click where it says, create direct access, okay? Once you create this direct access, the only thing you're going to do here is right click and you're going to go to the option that says change name, and you're going to delete the word shortcut, and the script, ok? And you're just going to leave 3D viewer, ok? That's it, to me here I get two because there was already one repeated here. You simply edit it again and it delete this two that is in parentheses, so see, count how many files I have, now, same, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, very good, so now you start Rickman, and it's already going to appear the active option there, okay, then there you can use both, both the render, and the viewer, okay, then, that way the program is installed, Rickman and it is ready to be used, okay, Remember, I'm a Honey Ruiz, here you have my mail, I'm always giving courses on how to learn to manage Rickman free. Online, I have a platform, I have tutorial videos where you can enter and learn the Rickman from scratch until the most advanced, I even say certifications, equivalents, 100 hours, yes, very complete, very advanced, I have a vast experience on a platform that I have more than a thousand professionals from almost 20 countries learning Rickman in both English, French, Portuguese and language, Spanish, ok? I can also offer courses face to face, you can also write to me to my mail to ask me if there are authorized instructors in your country, local so they can dictate a face to face training, either in your company, in your university, where you, you want, then look here in this page where are you watching the video, I do not know if you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook or in the pages this customized that I have, they have to see buttons out there where all information about the courses so that you go to see, yes. Or the other is that you go to the Rickman page where are you always going to find news and you can also follow us on Facebook with the Rickman page, we are in LinkedIn in various social networks and the case that if you type Rickman in Google you go to find information of this powerful software and nowadays we already have the Rickman Pro which is software that is the part commercial that is sold to companies and it really is very powerful, very powerful, okay? So I hope that this video has been totally didactic, has achieved the objective and therefore not forget to leave me a comment.
comment below here on this page where have you seen the video if there is the possibility leave a comment what did you think of the process installation some concern doubt or query there is my mail I'm glad to help you okay ready a hug and then we see each other on another occasion do not forget that I teach to use use workman in an advanced way so that you apply it there in your company okay